Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this lesson we're going to be creating feature lines in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise you'll use two different methods to create feature lines. Feature lines can either be drawn with straight and curved feature line segments or created from existing alignments or AutoCAD lines, arcs, polylines, or 3D polylines. A feature line can be used as a grading baseline but not as a target. This exercise continues from setting up grading standards. We'll begin by creating feature lines from AutoCAD objects. Now note that this exercise can use the grading-1 drawing with the modifications you made in the previous tutorial. Or you can open up the grading-2 drawing which is located in your tutorials folder. Need to learn more about Civil 3D? Check out the online courses at autocadcivil3dtraining.com forward slash online. There you can purchase courses or subscribe to a monthly or annual subscription to courses to stay current with Civil 3D. Hope to see you there. We'll go ahead and begin by drawing a couple lines that connect circles A, B, and C. We'll do that by going to the Home tab and then over to the Draw panel. Click the Line drop down and select Create Line. Go ahead and zoom in and snap to the center of A and then connect this line to B and then over to C. Go ahead and press Enter to exit the command. Now go over to the Home tab again and then to the Create Design panel. Select the Feature Line drop-down and select Create Feature Lines from Objects. Our command line is asking us to select the line so we'll select this one and this one. Go ahead and press Enter. Now we get the Create Feature Lines dialog box. These feature lines will be contained within Site 1. And notice that you can also assign a name to each of these lines. Naming significant feature lines can make it easier to assign targets when creating a corridor. For this exercise, though, you'll assign the names after the feature lines have been created. Following the workflow enables you to create many feature lines at the same time, but only the most significant feature lines. Go ahead and keep everything else at its defaults and click OK. You'll see when you click on each of the lines that they are in fact feature lines. And they're all contained within our Site 1. If you click on Feature Lines, you'll see them listed down below. But notice that the name fields are blank. To continue following along with the rest of this lesson, click the links in the description.